I'm here dodging traffic for my kind of last minute training in preparation for the London Marathon. It's on April the 13th. I've been hitting the streets of very busy London for about the last six months, all through the horrible winter months, trying to get ready for the 26.2 miles that I've signed myself up for. Thousands of others are doing the same, it's not just me. But I'm doing it for charity, like loads of others as well. I'm doing it for Heart UK. Uh, my dad died last year, so I thought this was a really good way to honour his memory and a great way to earn some cash for that charity. Um, so keep fingers crossed for me, it's April the 13th, I'm hoping to do it in under five hours, so I'm going to get back to it. So the gruelling months of training are now over. For myself and thousands of others, winter this year has meant wrapping up warm and hitting the streets, all in the name of training for the largest fundraising event in the world, the London Marathon. My training schedule see me build up to running around half the distance I'll be aiming for on Sunday. After starting out very much as a novice runner, I've had to learn fast. I'm one of 46,500 people who've been accepted to run the marathon this year, and fingers crossed, I'll be one of nearly 36,000 expected to cross the finish line at the end. Well, since it started in 1981, over half a million people have taken part in the race, which covers 26.2 miles in the capital. When it comes to fundraising, no other marathon comes close. The images of runners dressed up in everything from rhino costumes, bunny girl outfits and even old-fashioned diving suits are all synonymous with the event. Around 80% of runners do it for charity, with over £200 million being raised for good causes in the race's history. I'm running for Heart UK, so watch out for me on April the 13th. Satanta Sports News will be there to see all the runners off at the start, track their progress and check in with them at the finish line. Hopefully, I'll be there. Alex Hindman, Satanta Sports News.